So I'm down on my bike and my legs start to shake. And so what do you do? Right? Like you say, okay, my legs are not able to maintain this. Let me sit down on the seat. So you sit down on the seat, but because the road is so bumpy, what happens? <laughs> it starts to become very painful, very painful. I'm Dr. Amy, your guide for transforming your trauma into your gift. You adapted to life experiences to survive, but you are not your trauma. Uh, I don't know how many of you are bikers. I am a biker. I have done mountain biking. I prefer road biking. I have been biking for as long as I can remember. In fact, I can't even remember the first time that I went on a bike ride because I've just always, always been biking. And as as you get to know me, as we get to know each other better, you'll you'll understand like why is that so significant? Why has that been so significant to my life? Why does that represent so much to me in terms of even my freedom and my health? But for now, let's talk about biking. I went on a bike ride this morning, had a beautiful ride up through some canyon trails. And I'm, as I'm coming down, so I've reached the top of the canyon and now I'm coming down the other side and I'm going fast. I usually range between 37 and 42 miles per hour on that, on that road. And it's a if very bumpy road, especially as you near the bottom of the incline. And I have been climbing up this canyon for a long time. <laughs> At least it feels like a long time. <laughs> my legs are tired. In fact, when I stand up on my legs, because when you go downhill, you you know crouch down on your bike, you get yourself as low as possible so you can uh, minimize the wind and help help you go faster. So I'm down on my bike and my legs start to shake. And so what do you do? right? Like you say, okay, my legs are not able to maintain this. Let me sit down on the seat. So you sit down on the seat, but because the road is so bumpy, what happens? <laughs> it starts to become very painful, very painful. So this is sort of what happens with the difference between stress and trauma. When you're under a stress, your body is, is high energy trying to get you through this high energy trying to get you through something, but it can start to shake. You can start to uh, feel low on energy. You may be deficient in magnesium. You may be an undermethylator and have some high oxidative stress. There are so many different factors that can weigh in on when your body decides, oof, I'm too shaky. This is too much for me and I need to sit down on the seat. But then what happens is that when you sit down on the seat, that's when you're going to get more trauma because of how bumpy the road is and your body has just kind of given up in terms of being able to hold itself up. So as we look back on this graph, this is this is what happens. And let me uh, let me see if I can move this down to the next um, slide for us so that we can see. This is how trauma then gets stored in our body and what happens with a trauma. So we're going to start there in the middle window, the parasympathetic, and we have some type of danger signal. We have some type of trigger and we go into the stress mode. And just like me on my bike this morning, my legs will start to shake. You may start to be like, oh my goodness, this is too much. And your body signals that, hey, we don't have the energy, we don't have the nutrients, we don't have the support. It may not be something always internal in your biology, it may be the external support and resources that you have. It does not matter because it all weighs in on this signal that your brain decides, your nervous system decides, hey, we can't maintain this and we need to kind of shut down and go into a low energy state, conserve our energy so that we can get down the bottom of the hill on the bike. <laughs> and so we go into this overwhelm state and it goes from a very high energy to this very low energy and collapse. And you will, uh, you can even feel this. So we'll do a little, a little somatic uh, exercise here. And when you think of being stressed, what would be the posture that you take on? It's more of like a, right? Like it's a, it's a, a high energy. You're, you're ready to, to fight. You're kind of like, ah, hyper vigilant. Like, where's the danger? I'm stressed. Whereas when you think of overwhelm, what's the posture that you would take? It's much more of a collapse, right? It's much more of a, ugh, I have no energy. I'm exhausted. I can't do this anymore. 
Once we start having those feelings and those thoughts, our system has shifted into overwhelm and that's a trauma. I'm Dr. Amy, your guide for transforming your trauma into your gift. You adapted to life experiences to survive, but you are not your trauma. 